Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you some decor DIYs for my outdoor space, summer kitchen, barbecue area if you will, and it's all on a vintage theme. So stay tuned for this. For my first DIY, I will make a flower arrangement by using this bag here. It's an old paper bag and I thought it will give uh, the arrangement a more rustic, vintage feel. So I'm folding that paper bag and I'm doing it bit by bit to prevent it from ripping. And once I'm happy with the height, I noticed that the fold is a little bit too long. So I folded it up a little bit there, as you can see me do. And once I'm happy, I have another bag just like it. And I pour a bit of uh, decor sand uh, on the bottoms to make it bottom heavy. And then place some floral foam on top of that decor sand and now it's just a matter of placing your flowers any flowers that you want to use and I decided to go for some greenery that I already had on hand some summer flowers I'm also placing one twig of witch hazel in each of the bags and then a rustic jute ribbon on the side there, just um, attaching it with some hot glue. This video is part of the Room by Room challenge with a vintage garden theme today hosted by Devin at Freckled Mom DIY and co-hosted by Favi at Arrows DIY. So if you're not familiar with these ladies, you find the links in my description box to their channels along with a link to the playlist of this challenge. And this is how they turned out sitting in my outdoor space in my summer barbecue kitchen area looking pretty i think fits right into the rest of the decor i have a video coming out very soon about the whole space here so you can see the total transformation of the outdoor space for my second diy I have thrifted two wine coolers, separate occasions, one for one euro and the other one for, I guess it was two euros. And I just want to make them look more rustic, more vintage, more worn. So I started off by whitewashing one of them, just putting on some liquid ac white acrylic and then rubbing it off with a cloth but the whitewashing wasn't doing it for me so i decided to go over it with a sponge and dabbing the color onto my wine cooler like you see me do here and i have now mixed some cream some uh, white still and um, I believe it was some bronze as well maybe also some gold I don't know what I do <laughs> sometimes I'm just mixing in some colors to make it look nice so I'm dabbing that all over the piece And I'm doing the same on the saucer. 
and on the other wine cooler as well same procedure just skipping the whitewashing so now they are both dabbed with that base color and I have some inscriptions that I wanted to highlight so I'm going in with some liquid black acrylic in the crevices and wiping off everything that's still on the surface. And on that one I'm working on, it says Vin Frais, fresh wine. Uh, and on the other piece, it says Wine Cooler. If you're new to my channel, hi! I am Marika, and on this channel, I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting anything creative really please join me hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my youtube family some more sponging with the same base coat and then i'm going on the rim of that wine cooler into the crevices to have the same effect as on the inscription Now I'm going over my pieces with some black acrylic to make them look even more old and worn. The last touch is to take a dry brush with some white acrylic as you see me do here just gently gently dry brushing on where it's needed. Et voilà, here they are in my outdoor space, looking super pretty, I think. I've just put in some hydrangeas, in, one in each, and filled it up with some natural fiber. What do you think? I think they turned out great. I'm very, very happy with the result. For my third and final DIY, I have these two miniature pieces, an easel and a stool. And I'm taking just a vintage napkin that I will decoupage onto these pieces. Just taking off the top layer that I'm going to work with. placing it on top of the stool like that putting on Mod Podge before I put it on and putting Mod Podge on the top as well working very very gently with my paintbrush to avoid tearing my napkin and I decided to go for another piece on top of this one Now it's time to work on the easel and same procedure here, just um, 
tinier pieces I will cover the whole piece so it will take some patience to do that and I know that um, the easel and the stool they are very dark in color and this vintage napkin is also very dull in color so it will not show as much as I might like to it would show a lot better on a white surface I decided to put some napkin pieces on the legs of the stool as well and then I just set them aside to dry and while they are drying I will work on the piece that will sit on the easel so I have this scrapbook paper that looks like um, wood boards and I'm putting on the same napkin piece there with just some Mod Podge like so doesn't need to be perfect we're going vintage here Beside that napkin, I am taking another piece of paper that has a world map on it and I want it to look vintage, so I am burning the edges like you see me do here, just be careful and it will look like this pretty I think and I'm just taking Mod Podge here as well and putting it in place set them aside to dry my pieces have dried and I have cut them to size and on the edge I'm taking a black sharpie and just age the edges once I'm done I will put the piece with the map and the piece with the napkin together glue them together with just some ordinary glue put something heavy on top to keep them straight prevent them from wrinkle up while drying I go over the stool and the easel with some white acrylic just dry brushing the edges to highlight the texture that I have created with the napkins. Now I'm taking a flat black sharpie and I'm writing on the map on the top there. The world is yours. And on the bottom of the map, take good care of her. And this is how it looks. And on the back side, should you see it? it looks like this with the napkin very nice I think and here they are together the stool and the easel and I have put a fairy one of my iron fairies on the stool so what do you think of my creations today did you have a favorite let me know in the comments I love to read your comments you know that and you can see some of the texture of the napkin there some of the pattern looks very very nice I think but this is the place they are sitting in my space but I didn't have very good lighting there so that's why I showed you the other footage If you like this video and videos like this, hit that like button and the subscribe button as well for more inspirational videos. 
My aim is to post a video one or two times per week. So be on the lookout and hit that uh, notification bell as well so you are notified every time I upload a new video. Now it's time to head on over to my description box and hit that link to the playlist of this challenge for more inspiration just click and enjoy thank you so very much for watching see you soon again in my next one until then take care bye